Welcome, 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 one and all, all in one, to J. Wright Productions. I am your host, Mr. J. Wright. It has a certain ring to it, right? <laughs> Mr. J. Wright. It just kind of rings off in Mr. J. Wright. Right. right. Yeah, just need her and there. How are you lovely people doing today? How are you lovely people doing today? Huh? I'm doing quite quite wonderful. Today, well, we have a gameplay trailer for a game called Neo Berlin 2087. We're going to check this one out, but stay afterwards because we're going to check out one more trailer in this same video. This same video. Please, please, ignore the bad accent. Please. All right. Sorry, my ear was itching. It was like itching. Now, they say when your ears itching or ringing, it's when someone's talking about you. Which one y'all talking about me, huh? Who said what? Who said what? You, you, you said it. <laughs> Come across short. I just, I was, I was scratching. It was, it wasn't me. Like, no, I was like, ah, ah, the shoulder, ah, ah. You know, just a, oh, you know. Uh, uh, uh. I played football with Al Bundy, just so you know. He scored four touchdowns in one game. It was crazy. It was crazy. I was on the opposite team. He ran me over for a touchdown. It was crazy. Anyway, we're gonna get into this trailer. But before we get into the trailer, you know what you gotta do. break the subscribe button just snap it in half hit that subscribe button hit the like button and then and then hit the bell icon all right that's what you got to do hit that bell icon so therefore you know when i post another video on here for all of you lovely wonderful people out there in the worlds in case there's more than one world watching i don't, I don't know if there's if that's true or not or if there are if there if there are um hi how you doing um what's it like where you're at you know is it hot cold you know uh i'd say come visit but i don't know what your intentions are so let's not anyway let's get into this trailer neo berlin 2087 hmm Let's see, I was told to check this out. I was told to check it out, so I'm going to check it out. Are you ready? Are you ready? I need, where's Trip? You know what? I I need, like, Triple H to come in here and just be like, Are you ready? That would be awesome, right? Just every every day, every video I do, he's just over. He just comes in and stands behind me. Are you ready? Be like, I don't, I don't know how much I would have to pay him for that, but that I don't have that money. Anyway, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this right about. You thought I was gonna say it. <laughs> now. Oh. Falling rain. That's the sub, the, the cap. Neo Berlin, 2087. They're all fighting to take control over the city. Inside the Neo Berlin wall, the corporations control everything. Okay. The elites, Live in luxury. Rebels try to destroy it all. And the rest. Like a Deus Ex. Just fights to survive. I know. The nightmares See, I keep getting worse. I don't know why. Terrifying dreams become reality. That looks clean. The police chief has been murdered. I'm Special Investigator Nolan. I have to track down his daughter Natalie. She saw what happened. This kind of like knows um, must be big. Have you played Detroit? The journey to save her. Become human. If you haven't, go check it out. I hope I'm not too late. Whoever's responsible doesn't want this to be soft. I'm being followed, targeted. Okay. The truth is always a threat when corruption is in control. Maybe I can stop this city from falling into chaos. Will you do that? Let's hope you can. Okay. We got some gameplay? We got some gameplay? Okay. Is that gameplay? That's not gameplay. Shut up. Okay. Oh, uh, is it first? Wait. 
Wait a minute. Oops. He sliced the neck a bit. Um. So I'm curious because part of it looks like you could play. How do you save humanity? In third person, but some looks like in first person. Listen, that trailer looks actually really good. Uh, the game looks like it's gonna be wish list now. PlayStation. Um, set that down gently. Uh, I don't know. That the the game looks intriguing, very much so. It looks like it's it's a game that you know, I definitely would want to check out. The thing is, is like, listen, let me can I, can I talk to you people out there? Can I talk to you? We're, we're family, right? Some of y'all are my family. I know um, because I know. Uh, but. Can I talk to you for a minute? See, listen, I'm not a fan of first-person games. I just, I don't, I don't care. I don't. I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't like them, and I've never liked them. I've tried to play them through the years, and I just, whoa, there's something about a first-person, like, I just, drives me crazy but that looks like you can be in first person or be in third person and if it's in third person then I'm definitely gonna check it listen listen I I know that there's some people out there right now going you don't like first person what's wrong with first person I don't know I just I have a problem with not being able to see my character I just I like to be able to see the character I'm controlling uh, I don't want to, I just, I just don't want to just see the gun just doing this little thing and your like hand is like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And you're like, I don't, I don't care. I, I, I like to be able to see the character. I like to be able to like, a, you know, that, like again, that third person view was amazing to me because I could see everything. I could see the scope of everything around me and. I just prefer that more. Um, I'm not saying that FPS is, or just for, you know, I'm not saying that they're bad games, and I'm not saying that they're they're whack or they're stupid or that you shouldn't go play them. No, by all means, go do that if that's what you want to do. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I don't prefer them. This game looks like it's in two different ones, so I'm actually wanting to go do some research and see if that one is actually going to be... Um, more first person or can you switch if it's first person well then somebody out there is just gonna have to tell me how good the game is because i'm not gonna play it um i remember when i first seen the cyberpunk trailer and i thought oh this game looks really great and then i found out it was first person and i just after that i didn't care there was, you you could have showed me everything. In fact, they did. The trailers for Cyberpunk were freaking amazing, and yeah, still, that first person just, you know, just takes me out of it. Let's go on. Let's let's move on to the next trailer because we got another trailer to get through real quick here. Uh, that game looks good. You let me know. You know if you if you like it. If what what you thought about it, and you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, y'all. All right. I know this next game. I know some of y'all are excited for this. Uh, recently, we've had a lot of games out there be very... Um, what's the word? I I get it. A lot, a lot of you guys out there are like... Multiplayer, I hit the mic, so my bad. A lot of you guys out there like multiplayer and uh, like co-op things. Listen, again, I'm from that list. I'm from old school, so I know what it's like to not have to to not be in the same room with someone, or I have to go and play with someone, and I don't really. It's fun too, but at the same time, I really like solving games and, and issues and stuff by myself when I'm playing video games. I don't really like having to depend on other people for all that stuff. I want to do it myself. So, 
I feel like what I heard this game is, and just so you know, it is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre launch trailer. Uh, so yes, they did a video game for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and from what I from what I can tell, from what I was told, it is in the vein of like the Friday uh, Friday the Thirteenth game. Now I'm not sure completely because I haven't seen the trailer, so I don't know yet. But it looks like you can either be the survivors or you can be Leatherface, and you have to figure out how to those games. Yeah, that's fine. It's whatever. If it is like that, nah, whatever. It's probably not for me because, I, again, I'd rather just play the game. Like, give me the story. Give me a story. Give me a character to play and let me go play that. Um, I don't actually want to play as Jason Voorhees. I don't care. I, I want to go and stop Jason Voorhees. I don't want to play as him. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see what this trailer is. I hit that mic again. My goodness. What is up? Um, we'll see how this trailer looks. You let me know at the end what you thought about this trailer. Um, and if you like games like this, so let's see, let's see what it's about though. You know, I like the movies, you know, I'm an old school slasher. So, you know, Freddy Krueger is my favorite villain of all time, but you know, Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers, Leatherface, I like those ones. Some of these new horror movies are, just... anyway, you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. That was creepy. That was creepy. But it fit the tone, right? It was kind of... Okay. Let's go. Three verse four. You can play as the victims. Okay. Keep quiet. Find tools. Escape, okay. I need to keep moving. That's gross. That's just gross. What the face is weird. Or you can play as the family. This will catch him. What's coming to you now? So, Available now. What? It came based on true events. Let me, if anybody wants to go and check, listen. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is technically not based on true events. <laughs> not like that, at least. Not like that. If you go find the real story, you'll find out exactly what. It's. But there you go. Um. That, now that one's a very that one's interesting because you know that three versus four it is basically a team versus team type of game it's still while better than while a better concept than what I would feel like uh Friday the 13th one was uh, where it's you know Jason versus the survivor you know the campers and the campers versus Jason I mean like yeah there's there's that but at the same time um, it's still just I don't know I I'd still rather play as like the victims in in a sense of um, until dawn, right? So many of you guys have played until dawn. If you haven't, please go check that out. It's a really it's a really cool game. Um, something along that that line is I'd rather play as the the uh, the victims or the survivors and try to make my way out and keep all of them alive if I can. 
But, I mean, you know, hey, like I said, it's about co-op. It's about being able to play with other people and play against other people. And I understand that wholeheartedly. You know, it is what it is. And I'm not going to change that. And I don't want to change it because it's a different game and it's for other people. But, I mean, the game looks like it would be it would be fun for me if I could play by myself. Um, but it does look like if you're into co-op and you want that, by all means, go check it out. It looks like it's probably a game right up your alley. Um, but let me know down below what you thought about it. Do you like Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Have, do you have it since it's out now? Do you have the game? Have you been playing it? What's it like? Are you are you loving it? Did you waste money on it? I don't know. Did you want to step on it afterwards? I don't know. Just let me know. Let me know. Down below. All right. Hey. You. You, I'm talking to you. You know what you got to do today, right? Today, while you're out and about, you have to please be a light in someone's life today. If you cannot be a light in someone's life today, then I hope someone will be a light in your life today because you're worth it. Trust me. You're worth it. Until next time. Until next time. Although we've come. No, I'm not gonna. Is it, baby? I'm so, no, I'm so. <laughs> uh, to the end of the road. Okay. If you don't know the song, you know the song. Come on. All the we've got to the end of the road. Still, I can't let go. Sorry, that was a little, was a little too much. Okay. Until next time, I'm Jay Wright, and I'll see you soon.